$400 blazer. We're going on a little bit of a road trip. Well, it's not really a road trip, but it is for the blazer because it's about an hour away. But we're going to meet up with Lance here in the H2. It is inspected. It is all good, street legal. We've been waiting on that for a while, and we finally, finally got it all done. Um, but uh, we got the opportunity to head out to the off-road park today. I told you guys that we were going to take the H2 out for some proper off-roading. Um, the Blazer has to tag along because you have to have a two-vehicle minimum. I got a spare tire back there because you have to have a spare. And there, there's some rules and stuff. We're going to Roush Creek Off-Road Park, which if you're in the Northeast and you like off-roading, it's one of the more prominent places. So I'm pretty excited. I've been there as maybe five years ago. Uh, it, it has been a while. I don't really know any of the trails or any of that stuff. So we're going to do some exploring today. Probably going to stick to mostly like the green and the blue trails, at least with the blazer along. I just don't think the it doesn't have lockers. It's all open diffs. I mean, it does pretty well for what it is. But uh, any any serious off-roading, it's definitely not going to keep up. So, uh, but I don't know that the H2 really will either. either. The thing is, the thing's massive. So not exactly you know it, they're definitely like jeeps trails and so not really designed for the h2 but as long as it fits i think it'll do pretty well morning buddy good morning <laughs> should we fix that handle on the hummer no it's good man i'm just i'm not trying to steal this do you want one of these or do you want a hummer wheel that's actually a little bit bigger i think for whatever we're gonna get stuck doing it doesn't make much difference. All right. You know what I mean? Like, I think they're both gonna just be the wrong size and this one's laying right here. All right, I do have AAA. Yeah. So we could, we could, do we could have them towed home if yeah. we had to. Now, is the Blazer great on the road? The answer is yes and no. Um, it really needs an idler arm. Uh, the off-roading has definitely taken its toll on the old Blazer and uh, well, it, she's a little all over the road sometimes, but not not like in a dangerous way, but it definitely, you have to, you can't just relax and cruise, but it cruises down the highway just fine other than, other than that. But yeah, I got a little, I got a little play in my steering. Before we get to the park, we got to stop in the Hummer's natural habitat, the gas station. What happened there? You almost uh, fall? No. It seemed like, nobody saw it, so don't worry. I don't no, think anybody will notice. No, no footage. We got fuel and the breakfast of champions, Pringles and Red Bull. So we should be good to go for the day now. We have made it. The old blazer made it in. I uh, don't really know where we're going. Now this is like 99% Jeeps out here. So we're definitely the, the odd people, but uh, that's all right. Here is the map. I'm trying to kind of figure out what we want to do. I don't really know yet. The green is obviously the easiest and then goes from there blue blue black purple i don't know i don't know what purple is because it doesn't show up there but um yeah i don't know i think we're gonna start with greens and see see what happens oh yeah we are deep into the trails actually we're right at the parking lot but we did find two vehicles here that are not jeeps found two toyotas coming up to our first little obstacle here which is actually decently um Kind of washed out here for being a green trail which is just for basically stock vehicles but i think we're gonna gonna make it all right the nice thing about the blazer is, is you can really kind of pick what any any line that you could ever dream of because it uh is so small This one's pretty serious. Um, Lance wanted to try it. I believe this is a red. I think it's the, called the stair stepper. It's a little tough to read the map, and there's no markings right now on this thing. Basically, he wants to try to break the Hummer at the beginning of the day rather than the end.
come over this way as far as you can. All right, there you go. It's a, it's a loose stuff on it, man. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm on the brakes. Just yeah. A little defeated? I feel a little... Yeah. Your bumper is pricked up. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Little blazer, you think just because you're $400 that you don't have to perform? <sighs> Real disappointed in my little, my little blazer right now. It's Gotta get yourself a hover, bro. Hold her there, all right. Now, turn that way. Passenger, passenger. All right, there you go. good in the snow and stuff like i've always been impressed yeah. with it um but that might just be mostly the, the tires and not so much the, like four-wheel drive yeah system. i think i'm gonna come straight into here and then try to turn up yeah the i think that's your only way Does she like that? You only have front brakes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Huh. You only have rear brakes, or front brakes. Only front. Which of those are the ones you want if you gotta choose? Oh. Yeah, I bet it, when we were at an angle, it's kinda low. It's spilling. Bet it spill, you know. Yeah, it's the rear reservoir. So what I'm learning about the green trails and the map in general, and this place is really nice, really well cared cared for, all that stuff. Um, and so I'm really not complaining. One, the map is not to scale. Um, we did the first section that we did. We went forever, and we did like you know just a tiny, tiny bit on the map, and then the 
further away you got from like the start of it, uh, you know, the quicker you cover ground as far as like what it shows on the map. So it's really not the scale. The other is the disparity between green trails. Um, none of them are terribly difficult or anything like that. Like I'm not worried about getting stuck, but there is it, like, it goes from being a nicely um, manicured dirt road to being like an actual trail with some, with some challenges and stuff. Like where I first got the blazer stuck was a green trailer to got it stuck where it wouldn't go up over that stuff. Um, so it's just kind of funny, uh, you know, learning as you go. So we are gonna do snake bite, which is a black. I am letting the blazer sit there. I, I would like to try it, but I know how it ends. Straight up, there's a snake. I don't know if it's a copperhead or what, but just went back yeah. in that corner. Yeah, 100%. You might like live in here. If yeah. Talk. That one rattle you a little bit? Should be fun coming up over this ledge. It's actually a pretty good little ledge here. I think he can get it in an angle where he'll make it up all right. I guess you can go around that side, but it doesn't look like people have been doing that. I decided to hop up in the Hummer rather than walk in this whole thing because it is a little bit longer of a trail. Someday we might get back to my blazer. Um, and uh, what do you think, man, so far? Like, we have not talked about your impressions of the H2 off-roading. On this trail so far, effortless. Um, I mean, besides just absolutely shaking your whole body. Yeah, like, we're going to be peeing blood this week. Yeah, already starting it. Just go straight. Yep, there you go. Yeah. We found the road. We finally found the road. <laughs> all right, that is just for entertainment. He's all right, guys. He's all right. Time to start throwing up. So we defeated Snake Bite, and we actually saw snakes. So I kind of see how they got the name, man, because it hurts like you're bitten by like 400 snakes at the same time. Just come straight through. There you go. All right. Nope. Well, you're kind of in a pickle. I'm, I'm really freaking stuck. <laughs> All right, she got a few dings. Hummer is too wide for this trail. That's what we found out today. Yeah, you made it through. What's up? You look back at your plastic. All oh, ripped off? Yeah, it's it's coming along. It is now time for the Hummer damage report. Oh, she's gone. Our plastic is back there somewhere. We'll have to pick that up. Uh, oh, this man. side's pretty good, I don't think. Let me talk to everybody, <laughs> all right? I don't know if you're an off-roader type person, but there's probably a point back there at which I got angry, <laughs> and I think that's the point at which you lose it and start damaging things. If you've off-roaded before, let me know. Is that what happens? Because that's what happened to me. From vi visually from out here, it seems like that's what happened. So you got a little bit right here. I don't know where that happened, actually. I don't know if that was just now or what, because I didn't see any trees that were that. No, I hit, I hit it. Yeah. It was another tree. <laughs> and this on uh, snake bite, I think we caught this wheel. Yeah. A little bit. 
It's actually not too bad. Not terrible. That one's not too bad. Um, and then, yeah, here's the this one, and then the real bad one is... Oh, jeez. <laughs> that guy, and a door, too. Yeah. Got the door there and there. It just wasn't wide enough. Yep. Yep. Honestly, you did get frustrated and, and probably caused yourself some more issues. Um, you definitely weren't listening real good, but... Uh, <laughs> but we were stuck. Sort of, yeah. Uh, like for real. And I just would like to say that I'm going to give you some credit in that the power steering at idle, or, or you know what I mean, when it's all, um, you know, up against a rock or up on the hill, yeah, no it doubt. doesn't turn. So, like, you're, like, you're sitting there, like, oh, yeah, yeah, turn to the left, and that's not even an option. Like, like, you I can't, cannot do that. you physically can't do it, so Let you just kind of have to work with what you got. <laughs> what you doing, bud? I think they call this the off-roading walk of shame. No, the off-roading walk of shame is where you're walking back to, like, go get someone else to pull you out okay. this is this is more like you know you made out with somebody at the christmas party feelings but uh that went up just as easy or easier than any of those jeeps just did all right watch them slide dude if you blow it on this video that'd be funny are you in four-wheel drive okay I don't see any activity with the front wheels at all. Nothing. I don't think you're in for I don't think your four-wheel drive works. I think this is a red. I'm not a hundred, I'll have to check that, but. It's certainly not like a gimme. I think it's gonna happen, but I think you're gonna break something. Yeah, there you go. Straight back. Well, after that embarrassment, you ready to call it a day? Yeah, I'm ready to call it a day. That thing just defeated me. It did. Well, everybody, the Hummer actually, yes, it did get defeated on the last one, but defied all expectations, at least that I had. The Blazer pretty much met the, the, I was really, really disheartened on that first one where we couldn't get up over that little hump. But after that, I did not get stuck or have any issues really anywhere. Yeah. The biggest was that black section of the of the uh, little bit of a hill, rocky hill climb thing there. And it does seem like my front wheels are not driving as well as they should. I know that's a problem with these. We did not have to use the winch. Both cars are still running, at least for right now. We have about an hour ride home. And uh, as long as we make it home, we should be good. With that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I'm sure we'll have another off-roading adventure someday with the H2. And maybe I'll have to like put a straight axle under the place or which I've been talking about for a while. But I don't know, we'll see. Have a great day.